How's it going guys? Welcome back to Unreal Engine 4 for complete beginners. This is your boy Astrum Sensei and today we're gonna be learning new stuff, replacing this character with something from the marketplace. So I'm gonna show you quickly how to do that. The character that I'm gonna be choosing has the same skeleton as this one. So we're gonna go to the marketplace and I'm gonna show you how to get free stuff from there. So over here in the Unreal Epic Game Launcher, you have the Marketplace button under the Unreal Engine tab. You go to the Browse and you choose the category that you want. We're gonna need characters and animations. So we're gonna go to the characters and we're gonna choose something free. So there is a button here that says free. I'm just gonna press it. And the one I'm going to use is this sci-fi robot over here. Here you go. This one. It has the same rig as the mannequin that's in our game already. So it's going to be easy to replace it. Once you download it, it's free at the moment. But there are also, I think it will not be free later. So there are also other alternatives that you can use, which are the... Uh, Paragon assets, there are many other permanently free characters. For example, this one, the prototype characters, it's also free. It's always free. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the sci-fi robot. But in case it's not free, you can easily find something. You press add to project. And we're gonna go to our tutorial game, which is, where is it? Beginner tutorial game. And click add to project. And it should download and add it to the project all by itself. Let's go try out our character. By now, it's already imported. It should be here in the content browser. So when you open the content browser and you'll find the folder called sci-fi robots or whatever your character is called, there will be a lot of stuff inside it. For example, meshes, which includes the static mesh and this stuff. There's also the third person BP, which I think includes a an entire character, but I'm not going to use it. Probably I'm going to try selecting the character I already have and just replacing it with the sci fi robot. And you know, if your computer freezes while you do this or while you open the characters or anything that from the marketplace it's because it's it needs time to compile the first time it opens stuff like this so don't be scared just wait it out however long it takes it's definitely gonna unfreeze but yeah now we have the character over here and for some reason the animations i think are not gonna work i'm gonna go to the third person bp folder outside of the character and go to the third person character to try and fix it, to see how to make it work. So, I probably should revert this one to the way it was by pressing the yellow arrow over here. It comes up when you change things, so when you want to reset something to default, you just press it. So there's a component that says mesh. This is the character model itself. So basically what this is, this entire thing, is it's a blueprint. This is a character blueprint. So you can com control it whenever you choose to. Uh, there, It contains the mesh, the camera, the collision, which is the capsule component, settings about the character, like the walking speed and stuff like this. The also the actual code for the movement and anything that's related to a character controller so we're gonna replace the mesh real quick over here when you have the mesh selected in the details panel there should be a tab for skeletal mesh you just want to replace it with the sci-fi robot and as for the anim class we're just gonna choose for example I'm gonna try the third person animation blueprint to see if it works. As you can see, it does not. Yeah, this one does. 
I think this one is the one that came with the character. So yeah, it works. I'm just gonna compile. I really like this character. So let's test this out and see if it works. If you press play and you walk around, as you can see, it now works. It's exactly the same as the mannequin, but this time it's the robot, which is much better. So yeah, now that we've added the character, we should start working on our first level, but I'm actually not going to do it in this video. I'm going to wait for the next video because I don't want to make this too long and complicated for beginners. So yeah, this was really quick and you know, not rocket science, but yeah, that's the point of this series. So if you guys enjoyed this or if it was useful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. I have a goal of reaching 10,000 subscribers, so if you guys would like to help me with that, make sure that you subscribe. And check out my Patreon because my patrons will get early access to all of the episodes in this series and in other Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series. So yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video and take care.